what's up everybody welcome back to the channel i'm just gonna make this video concise short and simple and straight to the point if anybody's having any issues launching their sksc then follow along i'll i'll show you how i got my game to run uh in case you go through something like this you ready sksc model organizer 2 trying to run the game Oh, looky, looky. A little screen pops up and then it just goes dark. It just goes blank or it disappears. It drove me nuts. And in my situation, it's uh, pretty, I'm very, I'm fucking pissed off right now. I'm, I'm really aggravated because I I thought maybe all my, my system files, uh, the games are corrupted. And I ended up uninstalling Fallout 4 VR. Wouldn't launch. Same thing. Skyrim VR, the Ultimate VR Essentials mod list, uh, which I had, which I added other mods onto, a lot of other mods, same issue, just wouldn't launch for some reason. And also, uh, I have the Enderall in VR, also heavily modded, wouldn't run. So I had no idea that Windows Firewall, firewall would be a fucking issue. I didn't change anything on my computer that I, that I know of, so I, I don't know what happened. I don't know why um, my Windows firewall decided to start blocking the SKSC, but it fucking did. And now, like I said, I uninstalled everything. I'm talking about hundreds of gigabytes worth of fucking mods. And it was something very simple. So, all right. Uh, let me stop rambling. I'll just show you what I did just in case anybody else is experiencing this And what pisses me off too is I went on the internet and I searched extensively everywhere on fucking Google YouTube and no one had this simple Fucking solution except one youtuber, which I will provide a link to his video as well. He had Basically, I, I, he, had, he had the solution at the end of the video, but I don't care. You know what? He was the only one that had a solution to this. It, it's, it's insane that no one else, no one else made a video on this. Even through forums, no one even mentioned it. And I've been, I've spent like two hours now just going, going fucking cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Going on Google and, you know, just... YouTube everywhere for reddit forums it's anyways I found the solution so here it is uh, go to your Windows security for me I just type in Windows update settings then go to Windows security uh, virus and threat protection oh I think it's right here, virus and threat protection settings. And scroll down to exclusions, add or remove exclusions. And or I think this is this is it also. You can also go to manage control folder access. I had it on, so maybe that is what was causing it, but in the, I had I've always had it on. So you know, uh I honestly, I, I don't, I don't know what the deal is. Uh, I've had it on for just for as long as I had my PC on, my PC running, or rather. So, all right. Anyways, just uh, this is what I did. You just gotta add an exclusion. So, in my case, what I did was I just went to my drive, which is an NVMe drive which I have um, all the modded games stored on because a game like Skyrim is a massive game. So it really needs a fast drive with fast read and write speeds in order to run the game proficiently. So what you want to do is basically my Enderall VR is right here, Essentials. Just select that folder, add it on there, and it'll exclude it. Also, to make doubly sure that Windows fucking Defender is not gonna fuck around. I go to the actual Steam uh, or the Skyrim VR folder 
see the under all VR that's just the, the game with with the mods but it relies on Skyrim VR as as the base game in order to run so I'll select Skyrim VR and just select that folder and voila that's it so now it should hopefully run let's see oh looky looky it's getting ready to load so that's it folks oh I forgot to turn the VR the, the start Steam VR but it, it it works trust me it works so let me unlock this hold on a second let me exit the regular Skyrim VR all right let me turn the Steam VR first you always have to start Steam VR See if a window is gonna pop up. Oh, I got my controller off. All right, I'm just gonna turn one controller on. Seriously, I'm just, I'm so fucking pissed off right now that it was something so small and simple as that. And let me turn. Hold on a second. The display VR window so you can see for yourselves that it's it's working. Damn, that's a small window. Okay. Well. Um. <laughs> how do I minimize this? Shit. I'm, I've never really used this window before. Alright, you know what? I think an, another window will show up anyways. Uh, here you go. God, I just, if, if I knew how difficult and what a pain in the ass PC gaming would be, I probably would have never just, I probably would have never wasted all the money, all this money, thousands and thousands of dollars on PC equipment and VR equipment. I mean, this, it's, it's a full-time job. It's a full-time job troubleshooting. Oh, what happened now? What did I do? Oh shit. I did something. Hold on a second. It should have worked. here we go so yeah it works so this is a fresh brand new install of enderall VR I don't have any other additional mods on there yet which I'm probably really hesitant to do because I can't I really can't take this shit anymore there's always something going wrong when it comes to the modding scene so all right there we have it, folks. It works. Yeah, go to desktop. I I don't even feel like playing right now. I feel like doing is going to a fucking... Taking a walk, going outside, and... and uh, it's too early. I was going to say, grab a few drinks at a fucking bar, because I... Psh, I spent hours trying to find a solution to this shit. So, alright. Uh, I hope this is helpful, and... Yeah. Pass on the information to other people if you're going through the same experience. Because unlike other YouTubers, I mean, it's just crazy. They, I'm still shocked no one's made a video on this. Or maybe I just didn't look hard enough. I don't know. But there you have it, folks. Uh, yeah, have a good one. Take care. And bye-bye.